Good morning, good morning, good morning. Joining from all points, Western Wales, welcome. And uh, if you're further afield, welcome as well. Um, you might have noticed with the weather being as miserable as it is today, I thought I would put a little bit of background on today and inject a bit of sunshine um, in terms of lovely beaches to make us feel a bit warmer. And hopefully this morning, uh, Joe from Wendy Wu will inspire you with some touring stuff that's gonna make you um, clamor to wanna go to, to further afield. Um, particularly places like China, Japan, and actually beyond now with Wendy Wu, their program is getting uh, wider almost by the week, which Joe will probably tell me some new stuff even I didn't know about. So um, as usual with these presentations, please, please, please ask away in the chat facility that you've got. It's at the bottom of the screen, just tap it, type the question in, and I will ask them to Joe at the end of the presentation. The trickier, the better. Unfortunately, he is very proficient at Wendy Wu and all things Wendy Wu and very knowledgeable. So uh, if we can catch him out, I'll be delighted, but I'll be, uh, I'll be equally surprised as well. But um, Joe, without further ado, I'll pass over the presentation to you. Thank you, Miles. You've, you've set me up there for a fall, possibly. Um, <laughs> good morning, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, so briefly in this uh, uh, presentation, um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Wendy Wu Tours, just in case you don't know about us, um, but I, I hopefully some of you do. Um, I'm going to go through our, our top selling tour in Japan. I'm going to cover briefly all of our destinations, our fabulous exclusive tour uh, of Vietnam and Cambodia that we have in place for travel later this year with Miles Morgan, and also about... Uh, some, some late getaways. If you really want to get away in the next three to four months, we've got some fabulous destinations that are, are open to fully vaccinated travellers. And uh, we're really looking forward to those tours going ahead. And I'll tell you also about our European programme. So uh, without further ado, let's just quickly move on to what makes Wendy Wu Tours different to most other escorted tour operators. We are the UK's number one Asia escorted tour operator. Nobody sends more people to particularly China and Japan from the UK than we do. And on all of our tours, because we only sell in the UK, Australia and New Zealand, we only have Aussies, Kiwis and Brits on our tours. Most people travel on our fully inclusive packages and uh, they're called our classic tours. But I'll tell you a little bit more about our group tour styles on the next slide. And if a visa is required for any of our destinations that you're traveling to with us, then we have our own visa department and we work closely with the travel agent to make sure that that is a really smooth um, process for you as a client. Just like Miles, we've got lots and lots of awards which we've worked really, really hard to achieve um, within the industry and from consumer publications. We've got five-star TripAdvisor rating, gold-trusted service on FIFO, over 20 years experience in the industry in the UK, 25 in Australia, because we operated in Australia for five years before the UK and London became our head office. And we really have the best guides in the business, 97% customer satisfaction ratio. So on our tour styles, we, we feel that we do have something for everybody. There's no doubt with the sheer breadth of our tours, most people do travel on our classic group tours, which include everything. So the price you'll see includes flights, four star accommodation, all of your guiding, all of your experiences. And nobody includes more experiences than we do. And all of your meals in fabulous restaurants. Other escorted tour operators, you may have some meals included and they'll be in hotels, possibly. We don't do that. It's always in fabulous local restaurants and you're accompanied by our guide from start to finish. And we only use local guides for some people. They don't want to be with a group all of the time. They're a little bit more adventurous. They want a bit more free time. And we have a small selection of go beyond tours. These tend to get off the beat and track a little bit more and they can be a little bit more physically demanding, such as hiking around the uh, base of Mount Fuji, as an example. Um, so we have a small range of these go beyond tours. They're still a soft adventure and you still have a guide with you throughout. For our solo customers that may be uh, uh, listening and watching this, and I've got a great offer towards the end of this presentation, we do have some dedicated solo departure dates on a handful of our top selling tours in each destination. 
Now, these are not particularly uh, uh, different in price, but the major difference in going on a, a normal tour, if you like, and paying a solo supplement is that these uh, dedicated solo departures are only for solo travelers. Um, if you don't want to go a group tour, then again, by talking with Miles Morgan Travel, whichever is your closest branch, we can put together a private tour for you or we can tailor make a tour as well. And if any of you are members of a particular uh, social group, and, and that means any uh, sort of number of people from 10 and above, we can actually put a special group together, again, in conjunction with Miles Morgan for you and your group. So let's have a brief look uh, overview of our destinations. Uh, without a shadow of a doubt, we are the market leaders for China and Japan for escorted touring. Nobody offers as many itineraries as we do or as comprehensive as we do. Um, Southeast Asia, we've been selling for a number of years, of course, and we travel all across uh, that continent with Vietnam and Cambodia being our most popular destinations. But we also have tours of Laos, Thailand, uh, Borneo and the Indonesian islands. Um, but we also now have added New Zealand, and I'll briefly cover that towards the end of this presentation, as that's quite a new destination for us. India and Sri Lanka, we travel all across there, and we are in the process of launching a brand new India brochure. So you'll be able to collect that within the next couple of weeks from Miles Morgan Travel. We have our Latin America program with Antarctica small ship expedition cruises. So really, really different. And we've marked, um, teamed up there with uh, the market leaders in polar expeditions, Quark expeditions. And then I'm really excited about this. This is our, our sort of short haul offering, um, which is Europe and the Middle East. And uh, I'll be talking about those destinations uh, in a while. But what I really want to uh, just focus on now for a little bit is Japan, which has continued to be a top selling destination for us over the last couple of years. Um, we are expecting Japan to open this summer, certainly in time for our tours in September. Um, so uh, let's have a little look. <laughs> Japan is incredible as a destination to go to. I'm pretty well traveled and it's like nowhere else I've been. I definitely have to go back and do a lot more of it. I know Miles himself has been as well and really enjoyed his short time in Japan. And, and it, it's quite hard to describe it, how different it is. The people are amazing. The history and the culture is so, so fantastic. The scenery is stunning. And this is our top selling tour. And nobody does such a comprehensive tour of Japan of the main island of Honshu uh, in the marketplace. And this pretty much does tick box what most people want to do in visiting Japan. Um, so you'll start off in Osaka. You'll see the, the deer in Nara that wander around there like secret messengers of the gods. Um, down to Hamiji Castle, a fantastic uh, example of Japanese castle architecture. Mirajima Shrine Island, Hiroshima, then up to Kyoto, the ancient capital, which is stunning. There's so much to do around Kyoto. And this is where you will see geishas and learn about that whole geisha culture. Up to Kanazara, uh, some of the most fabulous Japanese gardens and also learning about the, uh, the samurai culture as well. Into the Japanese Alps, where you have a, a fantastic immersive Japanese onsen experience, you see the Japanese macaques, the snow monkeys, and then down to Mount Fuji, we uh, cruise across Fuji Five Lakes as well, and then finish up in the modern uh, city of Tokyo, but still has some ancient sides to it when you just get off that beaten track uh, a little bit. So this is our Japan Uncovered tour, and we have tours ranging from eight days right the way up to 21 days with our Japan by Rail tour which actually covers all three islands. So uh, Honshu in the middle, which is the biggest major island, 
uh, Kushu in the south, which is uh, very volcanic, uh, volcanic, sorry, and very scenic. And then you have Hakido up in the north, um, an absolutely uh, a stunning way to, to spend uh, time in this country. So um, that's just a little taster of Japan. Obviously, on the time that I'm allocated, I could do a whole presentation on Japan on its own and take up an hour. But I do want to tell you also about our Miles Morgan exclusive group, um, which is a Vietnam and Cambodia tour, uh, the 16th to the 29th of October this year. Uh, you can see the price there, and that includes a Chepstow pickup as well. Um, and what's really exciting about this tour um, for us particularly is uh, the sailing on our ship, which I was lucky enough to be on uh, the inaugural launch in December 2019. So this is a ship that's owned by Wendy Wu Tours and sails up the Mekon and down the Mekon, of course. Um, but it sails from a much quieter part of the Mekon. But this tour is really fabulous taster of Vietnam and Cambodia, where you'll spend time in Saigon. We'll take you out to the Kuchi Tunnels, the underground tunnels and city that the Vietnamese built to uh, 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 hide and fight the Americans. Uh, then you'll have this fabulous cruise, which I'm going to show you some images and video of shortly. Then up to Phnom Penh, and uh, you'll learn about the killing fields as well, before then coming up to Siem Reap and seeing the amazing temples of Angkor Wat, and uh, also a trip out on Ton Le Sat Lake, which is incredible. And um, one of the things that we do at Angkor Wat, which again, other operators don't do, is when they've all sort of, all the other customers have, have drifted away, we actually take a uh, sampan out into the large moat around uh, uh, one of the uh, temples, Angkor Tom, and uh, we see sunset there. And it really is absolutely stunning because it's so quiet. All you can hear is some of the insects and the birds. And it's a beautiful experience. I really, really enjoyed that. But let me tell you about our ship, the Victoria Mekong. So um, 70 passengers, 33 deluxe cabins on two levels, um, very eco-friendly. You can see the solar panels on the top at the front there. Um, it has its own water filtration system as well. And uh, it really is a beautiful, beautiful ship. Very modern and contemporary in its design with really spacious cabins. So these cabins are 25 meters squared. Generally, the average on this river is 16 to 18 meters squared. The other beauty as well is that all cabins have a full, proper, private balcony for you to be able to sit out on. And uh, I've, I've had this experience and it really is lovely to be sitting here um, having a cup of tea in the morning or a cocktail in the evening and, and just watching the world go by. So again, a lot of the ships on this river have Juliet balconies, but we have full proper private balconies. As I said, it is very light and very bright, uh, very spacious, lots of uh, uh, local uh, shows that we have. And we actually sail from a much quieter part of the Mekon as well. Um, so you really are getting to see on the excursion some islands and real Vietnamese life. It's known as the, the rice bowl. Uh, the Mekong of the uh, of Vietnam, and, and it absolutely is incredible and stunning. It's very difficult for me to explain, even though I've been on it, how wonderful this trip is. So uh, let's have a look at some images.
So hopefully you'll agree she really is a beautiful, stunning ship. Um, the food on board, I can assure you, is absolutely off the scale incredible. Um, the facilities on board are fantastic. The staff are amazing. Um, obviously, over the last <clears throat> couple of years, she's only been able to sail taking uh, domestic tourists. But the great news is, is that we fully expect uh, Vietnam to be open uh, for double vaccinated travellers uh, by the end of March. Um, so that really is fantastic news for us. Now on to our sort of uh, shorter haul destinations and uh, the Middle East. And uh, we have uh, launched three tours of the Middle East, ancient Israel, our dreams of Egypt and journey through Jordan. And again, if you've not been, I can really, really assure you that Petra in Jordan is as wonderful as you expect it to be. The beauty of it for me uh, is when you, um, unlike a lot of uh, um, ancient sites, you tend to see them from afar first. So uh, the beauty of Petra is that you, you walk through this uh, uh, cleft in the mountain and at each turn you're expecting to see it and you know what you're going to see, but you expect it, you expect it and you keep walking and you keep walking and then suddenly it opens up and this, the amazing treasury is just there. It's, it's absolutely amazing. And what we've done with these tours is that we've actually uh, they're a week long in duration. The beauty of these countries is that they're actually quite small. So it's quite easy to do a lot in a short space of time. Um, but we've also uh, arranged the departure dates so that they can actually be put together to create longer tours. So you can actually do a tour of Israel, Egypt and Jordan all together. Um, across Central Asia, this is an area that we have expanded. We've always done tours across the Silk Road. Uh, Road to Samarkand has been particularly popular. Our Mongolia tour that we do every June um, uh, ties in with the Nadam Festival, which is the, uh, um, uh, it's like a, a, a Mongolian Highland Games, if you like, or almost Olympics. It's the three disciplines Genghis Khan said you had to have to be an ultimate warrior of horse riding, archery and wrestling. And it really is a big, big festival. This is one of our Go Beyond tours because, um, you're quite often traveling across uh, a very different terrain, uh, can be quite rough, um, and you will stay in Mongolian yurt camps as well. And then we have uh, uh, places like Georgia, which has uh, been a new addition to our Central Asia and has been selling very, very well. Again, hopefully I, I've whetted your appetite with uh, some of those destinations. Coming a little bit closer to home, I want to speak about our new European uh, holidays. So we operated a couple of these last year with our Spirit of Scotland tour, which uh, departed in October 2021 and uh, was completely full and an amazing experience uh, was had by all. And then our Christmas in Scotland tour as well. Um, uh, I think we're going to be launching one for 2022, but uh, that hasn't uh, happened as yet. Um, but we did take it in 2021. And again, Wendy joined that herself and uh, it, it was a fabulous uh, tour. Um, we have a tour of Portugal, which is uh, uh, coming up soon with an April departure, classical Greece, Southern Italy, Northern Italy, and this makes up our European product. Uh, what I will say is you'll see here, they're all spring and autumn departures. And one of the things Wendy Wu Tours do is that we really want to travel at the best times for escorted touring. Um, I have been on an escorted tour in the height of summer in Italy, in Venice, in St. Mark's Square. The sun is absolutely beating down. And um, it's, it's not great to do that. Um, you don't really take in what the guide's saying. 
you really just want to sort of, you know, get into some shade and, and maybe have a coffee. Um, and it's not a fabulous experience. So this is why we only are traveling in the spring and autumn, which we think is optimum times. We do the same with our Asia program. We don't travel to Japan in July and August because it's too hot, it's too humid. It's not a great experience. So you can rely on us taking you at the best times and you having the best experience because that is what we do. So I'm just gonna give you a couple of examples and very briefly overview of these tours. Now, the Spirit of Scotland tour is the only classic tour that we feature that doesn't include flights to the destination and back. So you do have to make your own way, although Miles Morgan would be able to help you, of course, with regards to getting to Scotland. <clears throat> um, but one of the things that we do that's very different, the Isle of Skye, prime example, uh, we actually meet with a Bear Grylls kind of character called Mitch, who's a ghillie, who forages and works the land. And he'll regale our group of stories of the Isle of Skye, the traditions, and also the wildlife, and teach some foraging uh, uh, techniques as well. And then we also um, see the Jacobite steam train. Now, a lot of other operators do make a big point about this, that you can see the train. Well, that's not good enough for a Wendy Woo client, as far as we're concerned. We actually travel on it and do the 84 mile round trip, starting in the foothills of Ben Nevis, seeing the wonderful waterfalls, the mountains, the beautiful countryside, the amazing locks. And it's a fabulous train to travel on. So that's just an example of what we do that's different and really justifies um, your value for money. Uncovered really, really a corker of a tour. Um, and talking to cork, you actually learn about cork farming on this tour. Uh, and I really describe this as a, a sort of wines, castles, and scenery. Lots of wine tasting. You start in the Porto, you finish in Lisbon, and uh, it really, really is an absolute stunner. And again, I just want to sort of explain what we do that may be a little bit different from some other escorted tour operators. Uh, and I'm just going to use Lisbon as an example. So um, generally, with uh, uh, people will arrive in Lisbon, they'll spend some time there, they'll have a walking tour, a guided tour, and then they'll be uh, off doing some uh, uh, left to their own devices to have some free time. We actually uh, indulge in uh, uh, an ancient uh, uh, folklore, which is Fado singing. We have a Fado singer who will take you around some of the old traditional tavernas and haunts. So this is really almost like. Um, uh, the sea shanties from the UK and the old uh, sort of uh, folk songs. It's quite a haunting uh, kind of music. Uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's still fascinating. And when we visit Lisbon itself, so yes, we will take you on a, a walking or a, 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 and a, a, a coach tour of parts of Lisbon, but we really want to immerse you in this and not just leave you to your own devices. So um, what we'll do is we have our own private charter of the number 28 tram, which takes you around all of the parts and traditional parts of Portugal in, in Lisbon, sorry. Uh, and then uh, after seeing some fabulous architecture, we'll get on a fleet of tuk-tuks. And these will take us out of the main part of the city to Belém with some stunning, stunning architecture. And here you will learn all about 
the ancient explorers that pretty much discovered large parts of the uh, of the world. And then we're not going to take the tuk tuks back. We're having another experience. We're going to sail back down uh, the river to the main part of Lisbon. So what a stunning experience. And then the evening we have our farewell dinner in a rooftop restaurant overlooking the city. So that's just uh, a flavor. Now, I'm not going to go through all of the uh, European tours in that depth. I'm just going to let you uh, have a quick look at the itineraries and maybe point out uh, a highlight. And on this tour, uh, Matura, up in the north uh, there of the main part of Greece, is a real highlight. So, yes, you're going to see Athens. You'll see the Corinth Canal, the fabulous temples at Delphi, uh, where the Olympics uh, uh, were, were born. But Matura is really quite unique with these ancient monasteries uh, sat quite precariously, it looks, on these huge mountain casts. Um, so really, really stunning and very, very different. Italy, um, we've got two tours, uh, our flavours of northern Italy, um, seeing some of the most fabulous sites. But I think the real big difference here is uh, that we our hotels are centrally located. So when we're in Venice, we are actually in Venice and not staying on the outskirts. And this enables you to see Venice at night, of course. Um, and Venice is an absolute stunner. Again, nowhere like it uh, on the planet. Um, it really is beautiful. I've personally been myself five times and I still find different things to do and see there. Um, and the beauty of being there at night, of course, is most of the tourists have actually gone. Um, we will take you out uh, to uh, the other smaller islands as well as seeing the main sites on the, uh, the main part of Venice. So you will get out to Murano, um, where the uh, uh, glass blowing demonstration we will have for you. And uh, we'll also take you out to Burano as well um, and see the fishermen's houses and uh, learn about the lace making there. Um, but for me, I think it really is the opportunity as well to see that and spend time in Venice at night. And we will take you to some fabulous restaurants as well. Uh, people that have been to Venice, sometimes it is uh, hard to find places that serve really good food but uh, we've got the inside track. And then our secrets of Southern Italy, this is selling incredibly well. And I think the beauty of this tour is the five days that you spend in Sicily. So again, something really, really special. And uh, we also take you uh, to um, where the most recent James Bond film, uh, the opening sequences, if you've seen that, with Daniel Craig uh, was filmed and these, these fantastic cave dwellings in this, this beautiful uh, area. Um, so again, quite unique. Briefly on to Latin America and Antarctica. So we do, if anybody's ever wanted to go to the Galapagos Islands, where well, we feature those. If you've uh, ever wanted to do our top selling tour and see Chile, uh, that's our Chile top to toe. Um, and uh, most people actually add an Easter Island extension when they do that tour. But we do Brazil, Bolivia, as you can see, Colombia, Ecuador, the Galapagos Islands, Peru, obviously a big favorite, and then our Antarctica expedition cruises. But if you wanted to do a lot of Latin America in one hit, <clears throat> then this is my personal recommendation, if you've got the time to be able to do it, the ultimate South America. Great tour of Peru, and again, one of the Wendy Wu differences, when we're in Peru, we have a two-day pass at Machu Picchu. Uh, we stay up in the village there, um, whereas a lot of other operators, you'll be there for a short period of time and then off somewhere else. We travel down through Bolivia, seeing the Uni Salt Flats and actually staying in a hotel that is completely made of salt. Before traveling through Chile, coming over the Andes into Argentina, some fabulous wines to be had on this tour, of course, not just in Chile, but in the Mendoza region, we'll visit a vineyard down to Buenos Aires. And one of the highlights down here of the, the Paris of uh, South America, as it's known, is we'll get out into the Pampas area, uh, the countryside, and spend a day on a ranch with the Argentinian cowboys known as the Gauchos. Up to see Iguazu Falls from both sides, the Argentinian and the Brazilian, and then finishing up in Rio. What an absolute stunner of a tour. And then very briefly on our New Zealand tours. So I just want to highlight that um, we have been running a number of tours in New Zealand for Kiwis to go on. During COVID, obviously, uh, the country was closed down and we've got a number of tours. And these tours are, again, very different to what other operators offer. 
quite often they will offer uh, um, New Zealand tours and you'll be eating in the hotels a lot. If you were uh, uh, going on a domestic tour, that's not really going to work for you. So um, we've gone to fabulous restaurants um, and we've been really able, because we run this from our New Zealand office, uh, to keep the price incredibly competitive. And um, we felt that there's a, a few itineraries that would appeal to an international audience, so our UK customers. Um, and these are, are, are those tours. So you've got the hidden gems of the north, the hidden gold of the south. And then because, again, we structured the departure dates in such a way that the two tours can be combined to do the hidden treasures of New Zealand. So just about our flexible booking guarantee, it's just a £99 per person deposit. Every tour you book with us, you have a free date amendment. So if you need to change it for whatever reason, doesn't matter what it is, we will do that for you, no problem at all. And the balance is not due until six weeks before departure. So if we have to cancel a tour, that will be done before the balance is due. And with any tours that we have to cancel, whether that's COVID related or any other reasons, then um, the options are always the same. You can change to another destination, you could move the tour to another date, or alternately, you could have your deposit back because that's all you will have paid to us. Now, on to some of our offers. Bookings made up until the end of February, we have our solo traveller sale. So if there's any solos on this presentation, if you want to go on any of our tours to partner in 2022 or 2023, you can secure it with a £99 deposit through Miles Morgan. And uh, any tours to Japan, China, India, Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, Peru, Chile, and South Korea as well. So that big saving is on our Japan by rail tour that would normally carry a supplement for a single traveller of £1,940. That will be completely waived. So you would pay the same price as a uh, couple traveling each person. Uh, across all of our other destinations, we have what we call a partner flies free, or if you're a solo traveler, you get 50% off the airfare. So basically that's a discount. Whatever the airfare price is, we actually will take that off of the booking for one person for a couple or 50% off of that for a solo traveler. Now, if you want to get away, in the next upcoming months, there's a number of our destinations that you can travel to quite easily, as long as you're, you're vaccinated or need to maybe take a, 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 a test. But they are uh, the borders are open for international tourists. And I just want to highlight some of these. your appetite for some up and coming departures as well so that's it from me thank you very much for uh, uh joining me and um and now sort of hand back to miles thank you joe um i have to say whenever you do these presentations i always look particularly at the videos and think god i want to go to some of these places Absolutely. i really do um and you excelled yourself today with mongolian highland wrestling was one i hadn't heard of <laughs> is that what i said you did and also <laughs> mitch the gilly in scotland was a new one to me as well oh so, yeah he's quite famous look him up is he so it just, yeah. but what it just shows is that the wendy Wu program is expanding all the time with new new products or literally all the time yeah our customers demand it miles you know a, a lot of our destinations people will generally travel to once um and and they have a thirst and 
uh, for what we do. Uh, they love what we do. And uh, that's why I repeat customer uh, level is so high and um you know it, it, it we have to keep those standards up i mean people might not know that there is a wendy woo but there is a wendy woo um do, do, i mean because for, for me so much of wendy woo tours comes out of wendy herself w would you like to just describe her in, in a few words oh i'll try miles i mean she is a force of nature i i, I think um incredibly enthusiastic and for her it's always been about the experience it's it's i mean it's never been about oh well let's let's cut this and we could make more money if we did that the experience always comes first and um and and that's because she loves traveling herself and mm. she goes on our tours she will go at particularly new destinations you know she went out to portugal as soon as she could get out there and really experienced how this is going to run it's uh, herself so she's incredibly hands-on even though we're quite a big company now um and uh uh yeah it's, it's just all about she gets real amazing joy out of customers having the best experience yeah, I, I think, you know, one of the questions I had for you is yeah, what is different with Wendy? Well, there are lots of co companies do touring. You know that the people on the Zoom all know that. Um, but for me, without putting your words in your mouth, Wendy, Wendy, and her passion would be the word I would use to describe her. She's incredibly passionate about the tours and trips she produces for her customers, isn't she? Yeah, absolutely. And it is that very small attention to detail and doing things that, that others don't. And, and, you know, centrally located hotel sounds like a really, really simple thing. But um, in so many destinations, it's, it's as customers will know themselves, you know, if you want to stay in the centre of London, it costs a lot more than staying in Croydon. But, you know, you don't want to be in Croydon when you're doing a tour of London because there's not a lot to come out and see in Croydon. You want to come out of your hotel, get on a tube, go and see Leicester Square of an evening. Simple things like that. The choice of restaurants. You know, food is such an important part. Um, going to different restaurants, tasting regional specialities. You know, some people think with our tours, oh, I don't want everything included. But how often do you spend wandering around a destination trying to decide what restaurant to go on, go in based on on what, that that one looks nice. And then you get in there and the food's average. So you don't have any of that. And spending time in destinations, I mentioned Machu Picchu and the fact that we have a two day pass there to really spend some time there rather than being there for two or three hours and then off somewhere else. So I, I think it's that really that makes the difference. I think what you've for, for people that haven't done a touring holiday or actually even for people that have done a touring holiday, you, you summed up nicely what's really important in terms of looking, particularly the inclusions and, and, and things like locations of hotels. You know, if you go into a Miles Morgan travel shop, you will not be just told they went to a tour. We will offer you other alternatives. I say this in front of Joe. Joe knows this. Of course. Um, and if it's appropriate, we'll sell a Wendy one. And very often we do, literally because it works out great value for money for the customer. And the tour itself is, is just really well put together. Sounds basic, but it's true. Yeah, I couldn't, couldn't agree with you more, Miles. And, um, you know, there's, there's something for everybody, not just in a Wendy Woo tour, but all the companies that you sell. You know, I think that's one of the things that I enjoy in working with Miles Morgan Travel is, you know, your agents and the expertise that you have, you match whatever it is, whether it's a cruise, whether it's an escorted tour, you match what the right product is for that customer. Mm. And and for me, that's that's what travel should be about. Yes. So please do ask away if you've got any if you've got any questions for Joe. Joe, I would like to ask you, um for for you personally. You know, this is a really tricky question now with the, with the massive product range that Wendy Wu has. But <laughs> if I let you pick, I'll let you pick two, okay? So I'm being quite quite good to you today. I'll let you pick okay. two. One being closer to home and one being further afield. Which would be the two tours that you offer UK? God, yeah, you really have got to do this one. What, what, what would you pick? Oh, that really is tough. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say I'm going to need three, okay? so um... Go on then, you can have three. Thank you. Uh, Japan, 
without a doubt, that Japan Uncovered tour is is that I would do that all day long, or the Japan by rail, 21 days. You know, if you've got the time and you've got the money, that is the way to do Japan, either of those two tours. Um, I loved sailing uh, on our vessel in the Mekong. Um, so Vietnam and Cambodia is an absolute must. If you've not been to that part of the world, it, it, that's an absolute must. And the ship is stunning and it's a, just a beautiful way to travel. And then closer to home, I, I, I do love the Middle East. Um, and uh, I, I've been to all of the destinations that we feature. But for me, yeah, um, Petra and Jordan, absolutely stunning uh, out of this world uh, and a really, really wonderful experience. The food there, the people, the culture. Yeah, I, I just love that part of the world anyway. Um, so there, there we go. That's that's three. And I wanted to carry on then. <laughs> I was going to pick one of the Europe ones as well. But anyway, uh, I'll, I'm going to say, you know, pick, pick it interesting the, one, the ones you've picked. I mean, I can remember Sharon from our shop in Yeovil coming back from Jordan and she said she was almost in tears at, at the at the experience. Literally, she said it is mind blowing um, what you see there. And I've, I've never forgot. I think she probably went about three, four years ago, but it still lives with me now because nobody's actually said that to me when they come back from a destination before. Because I said to her, how did it go, Sharon? Oh, my, she said, it was just out of this way. Honestly, it brought tears to my eyes, she said. And nobody's ever said that. It's incredible. Yeah, it is stunning. It's, 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 for the Middle East, for me, I mean, lots of people go to Egypt. Of course they do. Um, and you want to sail down the Nile and you want to see those fantastic sites. Israel, again, is, is a great destination. Um, I've spent quite a bit of time there. Really, really love it. But Jordan is something extra special for me. Mm. And then if we moved on to talk Japan, probably you and I could be here for the next couple of hours discussing. I, I, I could easily do a two hour presentation, Miles, with hardly any videos on Japan. Um, it, 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 it's I, I've got to go back. I've got to take my daughter at some point in time when I can afford it. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's um, it, 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 I just love it, just absolutely. Scenery, love it. people, food, it's everything, and sometimes it's not even just it's not even about seeing some of the sites, it's just being in Japan, it's just people watching and just being there, and just mm. the way that they are. Um, they're so respectful, they're so lovely. I love the food. Um, and just, yeah, this, this sort of, you can go to places and just go, this, this hasn't really changed that much in, in hundreds and thousands of years in mm. certain areas. And, mm. and it's just amazing. Amazing. It would probably be, you know, the, my two, my, my two kind of top tips for people at the moment is, is I think Japan is an absolute must do. And the mm. other one that's, that's on my bucket list that I haven't done is, is South America. And obviously you do do some fantastic tours down there now, don't you? Yeah. And, and, and I've got to admit, I have, uh, it's, my, it's in my retirement plan, Miles, to do that ultimate South America and, yeah. and, and do as much of it in one hit as I possibly can. Um, so, uh, because that is the one gaping area of my uh, experience. I haven't, I haven't been to South America, so I don't mind admitting that. I can't have traveled to all of these destinations. Um, well, it's, but... it's, it's exactly the same as me. And I think, you know, the, you pick that tour. It's interesting you pick that tour because one of the things for me, it's on my list. I want to do it in the next five years for sure. But I'm thinking, mm, right, Argentina, Chile, Peru, which one do I do? And of course, what you're highlighting there is a tour where you can do the best of the best. And I think that's probably a good way to do it because ultimately then if I've got the time to do that, I'll then go back and do a holiday to Argentina if I particularly liked it or Brazil, you know, amazing Absolutely. destinations. Yeah. Yeah. And if you could throw in the Galapagos islands and uh, as well, um, you've got a real tree. Yeah. You've ticked yeah. all the boxes. Final question for you this morning. Um, what are people booking at the minute, Joe? What's, what's hot and what's selling? Yeah. So um, Japan, and, and Japan has continued over the last two years to, to, to be a big seller. We obviously have had to move people that wanted to go for cherry blossom. What that does mean is that uh, uh, there's already struggling capacity for cherry blossom, particularly in 2023. Um, so uh, my advice is if somebody wants to go for cherry blossom, they, they really should be looking at booking now um, because that will definitely operate next year. Um, uh, 
the other thing with Japan, um, May and September, great times to travel. Um, and uh, uh, so Japan's been a big seller. As destinations open, uh, they're starting to sell. And what we have seen, normally people with our tours, miles, and generally escorted touring in general, they, they will book quite a way in advance. Um, what we have seen in, in since the turn of the year, so since January, is a larger percentage of people booking to get away this year. So people are actually looking at the destinations that they can travel to that are open. So Jordan's open, Uzbekistan's open, Georgia's open. Um, our, obviously our European tours, um, that Portugal one, the first departure date is, is selling well. Sri Lanka on the 4th of March, which is our first international tour for a couple of years, um, will operate. So uh, I, th there's definitely this thirst, uh, I want to get away now, but I also want to book what I'm going to do next year and the year after. And I think Japan really plays into that as a destination that's quite expensive. A lot of people want to go. It's never going to get cheaper. And, and they're taking advantage of the, the great offers that, that, that we've got at the moment. Mm. I, I, do, um, I do a weekly video for our customers. And one of the things I'm going to talk about on this week's and, and very regularly, the content comes from talking to the people in the shops. You know, so mm. I was talking to Claire in our Nailsworth shop yesterday and she said to me, Miles, we've still got customers coming in wanting to book things that think everything's completely open because of COVID. There's no bookings and everything's wide open. And actually, the particular customer she had in yesterday, she's had to book them for next year because she couldn't get anything remotely close to what they wanted for this year because everything was completely full. And the customer's like, full? How can it be full? But what people forget, and Cherry Bottom is a great example, is that you've got a backup of years and years of people that haven't been able to travel. And those bookings have been pushed forward and forward. And so Cherry Bottom 23 is is two or three years with the clients all scrunched into, into one year. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and the challenge is people think, oh, well, he's a salesman. He would say that, wouldn't he? But but actually, that absolutely is the reality of the situation with particular you know, popular hotels, popular tours and and yeah. events. And what you're talking about with Cherry Blossom, if, if you like, is it's an event. It's a big event, but it's an event. And it's a, it's a window of time where you go and anything like that is is hugely in demand because of the years of, of, of the lack of international travel, really. Yeah, absolutely. And and I think sometimes we can get a little bit blinkered in the UK that we, we don't think of how many other people also want to travel to these destinations at these particular high points. Um, so, you know, it's popular around the world to want yeah. to go to Japan at Cherry Blossom. So, uh, yeah. But my advice is, if, if you can't get in at Cherry Blossom or you're not that worried about going at Cherry Blossom, then going in September for the autumn leaves, colours, absolutely stunning. Mm. Well, thank you. Nice bit of advice to, to finish on, Joe. So thank you very much this morning. Brilliant presentation as ever. It always is. And it always, you know, for me personally, I, I just I just look at those videos and, and I think, yes. And of course, with the world now opening up, what better time to, to go on one of your tours. It's fantastic. So thank you everybody else for joining this morning. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Joe, thank you very much. Fantastic presentation. And um, if you need any information on Wendy Wu tours or particularly Japan, then pop into your local shop. If you've got questions for Joe, any of the teams in the shop can get hold of Joe and ask him anything further that you want to ask. So um, thank you everybody. And thank you, Joe. Have a great thank day. You. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye.